is music related i got another bomb episode for y'all but before i begin y'all hit that like button y'all hit that subscribe button she passed me around passed me around facebook instagram and all other social media platforms and y'all know how i feel about my chizzing if you'd like to support the channel cash app dollar sign michael us also check out my website 250gemstones.com.co Man, this nigga here keep taking so many L's. Nicki Minaj's first, her, her, her ex-boyfriend, I don't know if she with this nigga now. Nicki Minaj's husband, uh, this dude is just, I don't know where she found him. I just don't know where she found him. There's two points in this video when to talk about people not learning from their mistakes and men being the first husband to their wife. First husband meaning the woman is in charge and you kind of stand in the background and iron her clothes, get her uh, stuff ready for the meetings, you schedule her meetings, and she pretty much the breadwinner and you just uh, <laughs> kind of like a lackey, right? Uh, but y'all watch this quick video and I'm gonna be right back with you. Fun and games, so we want to play too. We outside. Yeah. Somebody tell Orsa. Because Orsa DM me. He DM me. Nicki Minaj's husband, Kenneth Petty, placed on house arrest after threatening Cardi B's husband, Offset. Oh, snappity snap, snap. It all went down after Petty posted these clips to social media, throwing some choice words at Offset. Uh -oh. I had vacation. Yeah. I'm planning your funeral. That's Petty and two other men standing on a sidewalk in NYC. Why are these niggas on the sidewalk? Your wife is a millionaire. Why is your black ass out there on the sidewalk looking dusty as hell and your wife is a multi-millionaire, one of the greatest to ever do it, one of the most influential icons in the world, and you standing on the block like you 14 years old Knowing that these folks trying to lock our black asses up and you just give them all the evidence. Give them all the ammo. It's like you begging for them niggas to put their boots in your ass and put you in the back of the paddy wagon. The hell? Repeatedly name checking the rapper. Somebody tell Onset. Because Onset DM me. Now, according to court docs obtained by ET, Petty has been ordered to serve 120 days of home detention Ooh. after he was recorded on video making threatening remarks to a specific individual while in the company of someone with a criminal record, Ooh. thus violating his probation. ET has reached out to reps for Minaj, Petty, and Offset for comment. This nigga is a criminal. Don't you know the laws by now? God damn, you on probation, you know you can't do this type of stuff. This, this, this nigga stay taking L's. Hey, let us meet you there, That's the starting line. Let's get it going, man. We'll meet you on your vacation, That's a fact. That probation. What, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, these niggas dumb comes after Petty was arrested for failing to register as a sex offender in July 2022. He pleaded guilty to the charges in September. Oh, wait, that happened? probation comes after Petty was arrested for failing to register as a sex offender in July 2022. Oh. He pleaded guilty to the charges in September 2021 and was sentenced to one year in-home confinement, three years probation, and a fine of $55,000. Petty was... Well, so this dude got a, a a sexual charge, and he pleaded guilty. So he did do it. This man's a predator. He's on the street corners, dusty, screaming at Offset. Ah, oh, man, Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj, you could have got with me. I got two YouTube channels. I got this, I got a Spotify podcast. I got music, baby. I mean, Nicki, baby, you could have got just got with me. Ordered to register as a sex offender after a 1994 incident where a 16 year old girl reported that he raped her at knife point. Petty initially denied the accusation before pleading guilty to attempted rape and serving four years in prison. 
Then in 2019, during a traffic stop, law enforcement discovered that Petty hadn't registered as a sex offender in California after he moved from New York. He was mm. indicted in 2020 when he self-surrendered and was released on a $20,000 bond. This nigga keep crashing out. Well, semi crashing out. He keep doing this weird. So this dude's a creep. He gets caught. He tried. He is like he stutters. Like, did I do it? Did not do it? Some some wrong with this dude. So he commits the crime, and then he be like, oh, oh wait, did I do it? Oh, wait, no, I, I didn't do it. You know what? I did. What? Get this nigga off the street. On. As for Minaj, who married Petty in 2019, she has publicly defended him over the years. I hardly address things, so so therefore when I do address them, it all just comes out, like everything comes out. The two share an almost two-year-old son, whom they refer to publicly as Papa Bear. I got my son. And while we don't know what caused the apparent beef between Petty and Offset... They wanted to come at me at the VMAs, man. I ain't oh, even... We ain't man. even do nothing to nobody, oh, man. Man, what's happening, man? We do... Oh, my God. This is what Nikki told. I don't want to see no more, y'all. I'm about to meet y'all. I'm kind of disappointed in Nikki. I knew this dude was a creep. I thought she left this dude. I thought she was safari. I get mixed. I don't be in people's business like that. I got my own stuff going on. But I'll meet y'all on the other side. As y'all can tell them, my boys, I'm disappointed. In, I'm disappointed in Nikki. Shame on me for having expectations in 2023 of people. That that that's my first rule to survival. Don't have expectations for people because I expected her to get her like a football player, or a doctor, or a a, a, a music uh, mogul, or a film director. Would y'all like my opinion? Would y'all like my opinion? Of course you. That's why your ass is here. I'm kind of sad. Um, the first point, this dude keep crashing out. I don't know how this dude got so many chances. Um, it's, he pleaded guilty to the charge. It's one thing to be accused of it. And then you say, I'm not guilty. You clear your name. You get your lawyer game up. You get who you need to get to get out that situation. But you pled guilty to it from the crime in 94. Then you double back and you didn't register as a sex offender. That's a terrible thing to have on your jacket. And you play guilty to it. If any of these hoes out in these streets say I did something to them, uh, uh, a minor or anything, I'm defending myself at all costs. It's, it, I'm Because I ain't that type of person. So I'm going to be damned if I let a broad tell me or put my name out there. Everything I work for. You know how hard it is to get a thousand subscribers? You got to remember, they said for every minute... YouTube launches 500,000 videos a minute. I'm going to go look it up. I think it's 500,000 videos. 500 million or 500,000? I think it's 500,000 a minute. 500,000 videos. So that's what I said. I am grateful for both my channels. My other channel is uh, 250 Gemstones Culture. And this channel is a strictly my music channel because I'm an artist myself. And I just love the music. I just love being around music. I love talking to music, hip-hop, Afro, country. But I'm going to defend myself in these situations. I'm not going to let nobody play with my name. It's hard to build something. It's hard to build an empire. That's what I'm doing. You're building an empire. It's hard to uh, mentally, physically, spiritually get yourself to have that discipline to say you're going to build an empire. To have a woman put my name out there like that. I'm going to defend my name. And then I'm going to sue the broad. How about that? So, this guy right here, what a mess. What an absolute mess. He's on a street corner like a bum. He should be figuring out how to get her meetings together. How to get her stuff together. What's going to bring me to my next point? This dude, in my opinion, in comparison to Nicki Minaj, is a bum. I don't know this dude. I, I don't care to know him. I'm just saying from to the level she got, as talented as she is, in comparison to his old lady... In comparison to his old lady, this nigga's a bum. But here's the thing. This is why I say he's a bum. Not because she's a millionaire and she's getting more money than him. No, it's not the money. It's his approach to everything. Let me see more in the middle. It's his approach to everything. If my woman made more than me, this is what I'm saying. Nicki Minaj is in the realm of a 1% or half a percent of earnings. When we talk about earnings, how much she makes. Only half of a percent of, of the entire human race will ever make what she makes. 
So let's go to this, let's go to a superstar level real quick on this on this scale. In other words, if I'm dating a, a woman that's half, let's say one percent of the world, she she earns what one percent of the world earns. I am still going to be the man of the house. I just acknowledge that she is the talent, more talented one in the group. I acknowledge that she has all the notoriety, but at the end of the day, I am the one that protects her. She don't protect me. She don't protect the fam. I'm new. I'm still the man. I got all the beard. I got all the muscles. I got all the logic. I'm the one that hold, holding everything down when she's out on her tour, when she's doing her thing. I'm still holding down. She doesn't protect me. I protect her. So no matter how much money, say I'm dating Nikki, no matter how much money Nikki is dating, She's still, I'm still her ruler. So it all goes back. Can a man uh, today, the men being first, first husbands, that's the topic today, first husbands. I could be a first husband because no matter what, my masculinity don't change. Uh, my masculinity don't change. My logic doesn't change. My respect for her doesn't change. Nothing changed. Our money's not based off her earnings or how popular she is because if it's, it's like this. If if I'm dating Nicki Minaj, that made me want to step my game up. I would. I'm going to use my wife to fulfill my dream. That's why I said this nigga must be a bum because I got a dream. I love to get in the music industry. I would love to. Uh, well, I am getting the music industry, but not like that. Like even if I, I just love to make music, like Bay, I want to just put a lot of good music out there. Can you help me build the studio? Then my next mission, I want to buy up some property. I want to get my own wealth. Because if I'm making money, when your career starts slowing down, I built the empire while you were handling your business on stage. That's the type of nigga I am. I'm not going to put that all that burden on my old lady. I'm not going to put that burden on my old Everything, she got to do everything. Let's say until I get my own stuff going, let's say we're in the, in the prime of her career. She first started cash money and everything. I'm going to have her clothes ready. I'm going to check up on her. Um, even if we have kids, I'm like, hey, the kids, I'm taking the kids down there. And I'm the type of dad, I'm the, I'm, I'm one of them type of uh, men. I love being around my baby. I ain't the type of dudes that's always be going. I gotta, I'm going to build a relationship with my little baby. They're going to know who their daddy is. Like I said, the dynamics don't change at all. At all. Because at the end of the day, she doesn't care about money because she needs a man when she comes home. Somebody's going to rub her feet, ask her about her, her tour. If I'm not on the tour with her. She can have somebody to talk to this masculine, beastly creature that can suppress all this masculine and testosterone and be able to give her a shoulder to lean on, to give her an ear that she can talk to. The money and the fame don't matter because I'm a man. I'm going to handle my business. But like I said, if, if, if I need to put what I need to put on the side to help her further her career, she's already there. She's already blossoming. I'm going to do my part because there's no money with respect. She will respect me. I don't give a damn how big she is, but now we'll respect her too. Now, just the every day, if I'm a, let's say I'm a bus driver and she's a doctor, it doesn't change. I could be a man making less than my woman. I can if you uh, if you have a uh, if you have that type of intangibles. I don't give a damn. She a doctor. She makes more than me. Just like the previous example, it doesn't change. I'm still her man. I'm still her rock. I'm still going to make sure she good. I'm going to support her in every way. Just like hopefully she'll support me. Because like I said, I have ambitions and dreams too. Now, if I met her, she's already making more money. I'm going to use my wife. Because at the end of the day, fellas, I recommend you make more than your wife. I'm just bringing up these two scenarios. I'm just saying if life doesn't care about your plans... That's why you have to be a monster and push your plan through. So what I'm saying is, overall, we should be making more than our women to gain respect so she can look up to us. I make more than you. I'm taller than you. I'm strong. Even if, even if you guys are not taller, you're, you're stronger than her and you make more money. You have the essence of a man, that masculinity. This is what she craves. She craves that rock. We're harder than them. We have more muscles in them. Our, our voices are deeper than theirs. This is what she craves, that masculin masculinity. She craves that dominance. Dominance does not have a, uh, a dollar sign attached to it. It doesn't have a value to it, right? But it is better for a man to make more than his woman. But what I'm saying is life doesn't care about how things should be. 
sometimes things just fall how they fall. And what I'm saying is, if you do fall in a situation like that, you got to support that woman. You got to clean up your act, wear a suit. Who's Nicki Minaj? Who's Nicki Minaj, man? Well, obviously, you would. Now we're going back to the superstar. Obviously, you would never make that much as Nicki Minaj, but you handle your business. You coming out with suits. This man didn't even have a suit on. I'm representing Nicki Minaj. Like I said, I feed off. I would feed off Nicki Minaj's energy. If if I'm with Nicki, I'm wearing suits. I'm wearing Gucci shades. I'm I'm stepping out. I'm looking. I I I tell you like this. I'll be stepping out. Making Kevin Samuels look like a bum. You know how good that nigga dressed. Y'all know how that nigga, how fly that nigga was, right? I'm stepping out. Shit. Babes are taken care of. I'm going to marry her <laughs> off top. And I'm going to do my due diligence. People may make fun of me because I support my wife so much. But when I step out, everybody know that's a man on her damn arm. And even at the lower level, I'm a bus driver. My doctor wife, she had a man on her arm. In both scenarios, the everyday life or the superstar life, I'm still going to have my own thing going on. And that's the problem. It doesn't look like this man has anything going on. Then he's going off on offset. Then his dumb ass got arrested. And he's a sex offender. And he didn't register. And he knew he can't make uh, threats on camera. They watching you. He did it on camera so everybody can watch him. This is what Nicki Minaj picked. This. Y'all flood my comments. Flood my comments. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this Kenneth Petty, Nicki Minaj offset situation. And can men be first husbands? 250. Rooted in Music TV. I'm gone.